All right, welcome back everybody to <coughs> Halo 1, Halo CE. We're going to do Assault on the Control Room. This is a relatively long mission um, that you can shorten up a little bit, but not by very, not by as much as I originally anticipated. It's also kind of a difficult mission. Because uh, we're still running into, we're not running into the Ultra Elite yet, but, uh, well, we have run into one Ultra Elite already, but he was sort of a just one-off character. We're going to start running into more of those guys as we continue. The idea is to sneak up from behind him and hit him in his back. Instead of alerting every guard from here to Timbuktu that I'm in the room, but that's okay. We'll try to do our best job here, learn from our mistakes hopefully, and uh, get through this as quickly as possible. Man, I'm fucking red elites drive me nuts. Like, I understand that there are stronger elites than, than red elites, but boy. I don't see I seem to have more trouble with red elites than I do with anything else Because I run into more of them I think than any of the other ones I wonder how I could pretty much guess how elites probably gain their rank. It's probably based on You know how many missions have you run? They seem to have the entire region secured. Probably start out as a blue elite, move your way up into uh, either a red elite or one of the specialists that uh, go invisible. Um, I know most of the elites can do that. Um, in Halo 2, I think they can all, all their suits can go invisible if they want them to. It puts a drain on their, um, Shields, so as you'll see. Also, the arrows are going to help me tell which direction I need to continue to go, which I'm guessing they added during play testing because people kept getting confused and backtracking. Interesting. Um, so the weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning, or if the designers wanted the installation to happen. Barton Johnson. Luckily, I didn't get shot by uh, the Banshee's missile, otherwise, I'd be dead there. Um, but what I was saying was, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably simple as you know you go on enough missions you go from a blue elite to a red elite and then from a red elite to a uh i guess a yellow or a white elite ultra elite um did you move up the rank that is but i don't know a lot of red elites in this uh at least in hero mode um So they gotta be a, they gotta be a little bit more common than just you know run in the mill uh, I don't know if run in the mill soldier is the right word or not they're more common than than a standard soldier because elites are sort of there are less of them it seems than there are grunts or jackals they're more highly valued for that reason. Did you like where the elite jumped out of nowhere and 
stab me with his sword. Or if the I should have known he was coming. They're all over the place, unfortunately. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the ring. Oh, so you kind of want to get rid of the Banshee every time. Because he's such a pain in the ass to deal with. Yep, i lucky that did not kill me. So interesting that they like grunts use grenades. Why should grunts ever get access to grenades, you know? I mean I understand jackals have their shield. So their shield in one hand, gun in the other, they can't really wield a uh quote unquote can't wield a, a grenade without putting their weapon away. So you don't give them access to grenades. So I'm guessing that was probably the reasoning then because you have your jackals that have shields and then you're not just going to have strictly elites throwing grenades too easy you're going to have these little fuckers you're not paying attention to throwing the grenades I just want to pick up the gun let me pick up a gun no I don't want to enter the gun turn I just want to pick up the gun I'm gonna use this to overpower their shields. Yeah, I don't want any elites or grunts or whoever to come up from behind me. I'm making sure that they're A, there are no sleeping grunts. If they are sleeping, they get punched in the face. Gotta complete the reload animation if you want to work, Chris. But it doesn't count. Dead again. Game just jumped right over top of me. Luckily, I got check marked here so I can quickly take these guys out without having to worry about going backwards and I'll keep a better eye on you Mr. Elite that's okay Go ahead. I need Davy Jones's locker. Runs are very, what's the word? 
cowardly. But even so, they're sometimes they have a brain in their heads and their cowardice makes sense. Okay, man, it's Mr. It's Mr. Master Chief. I'm gonna run away from him and live to see another day. What are you doing? Don't know you shot me. What are you doing? Stop shooting. Oh, there's an invisible guy here. Great. I don't see him. Love invisible guys. They're my favorite. Made of favorite. All my favorite ingredients, including salt and fucking nothing. Not really a fan of, uh, of, uh, whatever they call those elite specter elites. Ones that have the invisible cloaks on them. But at the same time, what am I going to do? I'm going to give them a unique design. There's not really anyone that looks really super great other than the blue. Blue elites usually, white elites occasionally. Love how Mr. Walking Tank is not at all affected by the fact that I threw a grenade at him. However, he's super effective against this pistol here. I just do this, shoot him in his belly, he's dead. Interesting quirk, nevertheless. A little strange. Dead. It's embarrassing how much... How quickly I could take that guy out with just one shot. Another thing I always thought would be interesting, I don't necessarily know if it would be all that much fun to deal with, would be to have, instead of having two, you no know, hunters come in pairs of two, but what if the hunter came in like, like a four, four shot of hunters? That'd be fucking obnoxious as hell, particularly if two of them were programmed to stick back and shoot. Excuse me, they were like, they're plasma rockets. The other two are designed to come up close and try and melee you. Alright, we're gonna move on. It should be a... Should be an escalator. Elevator, sorry, elevator. And go up, 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 up. Oh no, we're gonna go down, 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 down. I mean, I did not get enough sleep last night. I'm really paying for it today. It was at work today. It was like having trouble concentrating. I wanted to fall asleep. So I had to like get up, walk around, sit down, try to focus on my work some more. Yeah, there are a ton of sleeping grunts in this area. You can pretty, you can pretty reliably solo this portion without waking up any of the grunts as long as you stay out of the center area uh, and you pay attention to where the elites are walking around. There's another grunt right here you gotta watch out for. So this is a dead end here. I like to do this to make sure that I've cleared it. <coughs> Excuse me. All the grunts. Uh, between the dead end so that nobody accidentally comes up behind me if I set the alarm off and they all wake up um, I understand this but there was uh, there was a video game that me and my brother played a long time ago on the PlayStation 2 a James Bond game and um, one of the things would be you as James Bond you would be in you would be in essentially stealth mode uh, until the first enemy saw you. Once the first enemy saw you, he'd go, Bond is here! And... dead. And that would alert everybody else in the facility that there was... that, you know, essentially James Bond was at the facility 
and everyone would wake up and everyone would be basically I wouldn't say homing down on you but they you couldn't sneak up on anybody else after that point so sometimes when you're in these little stealth missions stealth, stealth rooms and you let you know you accidentally hit push the grunt instead of hit it in its back and wake it up it wakes every grunt up in this whole area it's so obnoxious and then the leets and and jackals as well come online as you can see right now that i've let loose with the uh, gun they're all on my ass now like where were you all hiding a second ago you were in here of course So as far as I know, Needler is completely useless against uh, jackals unless you can somehow get it on, you know, on target and, you know, as they're rolling away or something, you can put it on their body. But like if it hits the shield, it just shoots off at the face. So I live in the Northeast, depending on how you view it. Pennsylvania is where I live. Um, so we get in the winter time, we get snow and I hate snow. And anyone who's watched my videos long enough knows that I hate snow. And I am probably in the right area for snow, which is I don't live on, I don't live out in the Midwest. So I don't get a ton of snow out, you know, in flat areas like that. Oh, I love this area right here. This is uh, wide open. Uh, there's uh, whatever they call those. I don't. They're not banshees. They're um. Are they banshees? There's something. They're little guys that float around on the ground. They're the yeah. See that over there? That's the covenant's uh, equivalent for like a warthog. Kinda. Anywho. Um, as I was saying, I don't like snow. Pain in the butt. To drive in. Um, you know, you're always puckering up. Because you could hit a really slick patch at any given time. And could cause you to... Glide out, wreck a car. Kill yourself, kill someone else, you know. Wreck into someone's house, you know, the whole nine yards. This is a pretty good, uh, this is a pretty good, uh, vehicle. I think they, they, they fix it in Halo 2, making the gun a little bit more accurate, because you can see it's just sort of, well, it's somewhat accurate. It does kind of do the X thing where it's very useful at where roughly where the crosshairs are. If you get any farther back than that distance between the front and your crosshairs they could be somewhat useless because it just you know you can see once it gets past the crosshairs it just it's just not as useful it just the accuracy just goes out the wall out the at the other end I don't know if it that's a good guy or a bad guy what I could do is I could I'm gonna guess that's a good guy because A, he's not attacking me and it looks like the elite was a little distracted there by him. Yeah, I'll say that's probably one of my guys because the tank is now trying to shoot it down. Speaking of which, yeah, uh, that doesn't, Phantom does not beat, or I'm sorry, Ghost does not beat, uh, um, uh, or whatever these vehicles are called. It does not at all beat, um... Um, tank. Tank destroys. I guess I could look whenever I take one of these things to see what it's called.
Uh, like I said, Halo 2 tends to do this better because if you overcharge the, um, and you home on, it actually shuts the vehicle down temporarily, which allows you to, to then kick the guy who's sitting in it out. So. I like me some rocket launcher. I don't want that. I want the rocket launcher. Let me have the rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Not sure if it's available in this game, but I do know in uh, later games, uh, the rocket launcher becomes, you can lock on with the rocket launcher and, um, like, I don't think this one does that, but what you can do is, I believe, hold on to a button, it goes do 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 do, and then it locks on, and then you can shoot it. That might be an alternate mode of fire. I'll have to give that a try later on when I have a rocket. Uh, because it's very difficult to hit banshees. Um, and it can be kind of annoying to try to hit these guys as well. If it's not, you know, not locking on or homing on. Because in that case, you're just sort of hoping that it... Oh, I think the uh, elite saved me for myself. Not sure why I would do that, but... Yeah, you can see how I have to sort of lead the missile a little bit to make sure that I don't shoot it past there. And then, um, excuse me. Yep, not one of mine. Now he's dead. Where is that was close enough? Imagine, like, the shield should have protected him from that grenade. I don't know, maybe that's not what that was designed to do. Who knows? So one of the things that I've really noticed about Halo is even though I've played through this game a number of times, I'm still fuzzy on certain enemy placements. Uh, for example, there is a bunch of guys behind this rock here that are shooting me now. I didn't realize that there's a whole group that spawns like this back here. I don't know if they were supposed to come out earlier when we were fighting uh, or what the story is there. They spawned later afterwards, but um, yeah, I was hoping that would I could flip that over. This I can flip over. But I don't think it's going to be of any use to me. Yep, I'm fucked. You overloaded my, the one uh, Jack will overloaded my shield and then or my, my shield could recharge. I kept getting hit by little grunts and other guys just kind of like shoot me once here, once there. What I want to do is I want to run over all these guys. That'd be great, but right now I'm not able to do that. Could move on with the rest of the game, but they may try to shoot me from that uh, ridge area there. Barrel, barrel, barrel. Yeah. I think there's a... There's a line in the second Halo game that I absolutely love where you're 
you get in a tank and you're rolling around rolling along in a tank and uh guys on your thing goes tank beats ghost tank beats banshee tank beats everything or something like that is really good i got shot died damn That's okay. We'll just take care of these guys. That's okay. Keep on trying. I believe this stage because uh, we will come through here again later on I believe this is the only stage where you get access to the uh, the scorpion tank All right I'm gonna use the gun turret that's on the back of my um, warthog why because I can Why wouldn't you? Be a one-man army, they say. Ran over one of you. Almost. There we go. Got you to death. Use our high-powered sniper rifle. Do what they does best. Good uh, tracking there on my part. Game does have a little bit of an aim assist that helped me out a bit, um, but let's, uh, let's clean up this area and then I'll cut the episode. And we'll come back and we'll do the tank area next. Come on! 